Okay, I thought I'd do a uh, aftermath video here. I already did one on the rear end. You guys can go check that out in the 10 12 volt hybrid revisited video there. Uh, other than that, uh, basically broke the spider gears. It can be put back together and it will with the spool instead. Took a lot of driver shot door, door shots there because people just can't drive down in Tucson, I guess. Well, I guess I can't call it Tucson guy because it's mostly a Phoenix guy. He'll get his. As for the car, uh, this side I'll show you in a second. I'll show you why I did that. I knew about this side up here, and that's why I took the Bondo out. You'll see the seam here that the whole back of this car had been replaced, and I didn't think too much of it, but this side held, except for right there. This side did not, it just ripped open. So I'll just fold that back in, bolt it, weld it, whatever, and get it done. That body mount kind of ripped out there through the through the hole, so I'll weld that up too. Frame, this is strange. I soft notched this, but I think what the problem was, I think, like I said, this car's been rear-ended and I didn't pay too much attention to it. I think they uh, might have sectioned the frame there. It just broke loose too good. I'll just take a weld tar out of it since it's folding like I want it. I just need to, since this ripped up and went up, I need to just put a chain here and just crush all this back down. Do that with the chain and the quarter power once I get the rear end done. Other than that, not much really wrong with it. Back the other side it looks pretty much like this. Doors caved in. But you see the weld's held. So I prefer to just do a been rod in the seams and that doors stayed together. Not one split weld tearing the doors, but none of the welds are split and they'll bend with the door. The only other thing is I hit somebody wrong in the front and bent the hood down. It didn't hurt the radiator, but I'm a little worried that it might, so I'll either cut the hood off or straighten it out and then fold it over to where this won't happen again just in case they go for the bumper again actually that's what's going under hitting a high car the S end was high and did that other than that everything runs great actually I need to thin out the accelerator pump it's a little thick kept flooding out and dying a few times which just things never done other than that should be good to go next month so I guess I'll go over the other side. You can see, I can still see good. Bend that back down too. Just smash it all down. Hopefully I get this side, I hit them off kilter. Never like to do that, but it happened. I'll probably pre-bend this up. So, not to rip the bumper off. And pull this down. You can see that door's crushed in. Really trying the axle shots. And I guess they were lucky and got it. So. There you go. It'll be back. Do better next time. See ya.